and scuba shooters. I'm all geared up for a night dive. I'm really excited to see how the Orkatosh D950V performs during a night dive. Let's explore the Blue Wonderland at night together. After sunset, the sea is deceivingly a solid black nothing. May the light be with us. I switch on my torch and then the ocean reveals itself as a home to millions of creatures. Some are ambush predators. A film director Moray has just caught dinner. And some are camera shy, like this hermit crab. It eventually posed for me. Loving your shell, bro. Very vintage. Hover cautiously, for sea urchins feed on the seabed. Their elongated needle-like spines jutting out in all directions. A black-spotted pufferfish makes a half-hearted attempt to hide under a growth of hard corals. Pufferfish are typically timid and shy, but someone's quite bold today. This one is daring me to come closer and it's using a sea urchin as a shield. Uh-uh, I wasn't born yesterday to fall for that. Off you go. Some fish take personal space more seriously than others. Like this really colourful little fellow here. This copper band butterfly fish has got a whole ocean, but I guess this patch of coral is exclusively his. While some like excitement, others prefer a slower pace. Rolling towards us is a cowry, a sea snail that only comes out at night. If it swam at just the right angle, you would have missed the scrolled foulfish. I'm not saying our interaction lacked depth. A foulfish combines camouflage with its ability to flatten itself against surfaces to escape predators. The master of camouflage hovers amongst this bed of staghorn corals. Can you see it? A large lone cuttlefish hides in plain sight. This one has a glowing underbelly from bioluminescent bacterium. Cool, right? In addition to camouflage, a cuttlefish can also change the texture of its skin to give their disguise a more authentic feel, just like the corals it was trying to mimic. Their vibrant good looks come packaged with venomous spines. The bold maroon colours on a lionfish serve as a warning to those foolish enough to approach. The D950V underwater light has given us a bright clear view of this amazing underwater world. Take steps to reduce climate change and protect the ocean. I'll see you in the next episode. Hi everyone, it's Baron here. Video shooters, scuba shooters, scuba divers, technical divers, dive instructors, dive masters, regular divers. Wow, there's a whole discipline, whole lot of discipline when it comes to scuba diving, right? Okay, so it's Baron here from Wolfang Digital and we are having Facebook Live with Orca Torch and this is the fifth live, the, uh, live stream that we're having on Facebook and welcome. Uh, for those of us who are already following us in this live, uh, do drop us a message onto our chat, uh, leave some comments below. Um, especially, let us know where you're coming from. Are there any Malaysians? We're broadcasting live from Malaysia. So if there are any Malaysians out there, do drop us a line. If not, wherever you're coming from, please drop us a line. We'd like to know where you're coming from. Is, uh, is Daniel here? Daniel, Mark, Pilzer, are you here? If you are, please drop us a line. We also want to see whether um, our chat box is working and whether we are receiving uh, any comments or any chats. Okay, so, um, well, tonight we have pictures to show you, videos to watch, torches to reveal, and lucky draws to give away. So, um, without delaying let's talk about the giveaway that we're going to have for tonight the giveaway that we have is the sd01 glow tank and this is a dive beacon it's a dive beacon and it comes in five colors it comes in blue white green red and orange so this is our giveaway and we will wait 
This is our giveaway, and it works with one AAA battery. So with just a AAA battery, this will last you for about 108 hours, and that is four days non-stop operation. So a dive beacon is great because when you have one on you, it makes it very easy to spot you when visibility is low, when you're further away from your group, it's easy for other, for your buddies, for others to spot you in the deep blue. Okay, now, uh, let me tell you how to win this. Okay, now the first step, you need to, okay, you got to pay attention to this. You need to watch the live stream all the way until the lucky draw. And I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to, And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you this, right? Enter one. And when I prompt you to, to enter one, write down one in the comments, and then we'll know that you are in the list for the lucky draw. So the next thing you'd like to, we'd like you to do is, you like, you comment, you share, and you ask questions in this live. Okay, guys? Now, the winner will be announced via lucky draw at the end of this live stream. So stay tuned through the entire live stream. Okay, now let's, uh, let me talk to you about myself. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about myself, show you my social media handles as well as Orca Torch uh, social media handles. So uh, my name is Baron and I am a filmmaker. I'm a filmmaker and these are my social media handles over here. We're gonna, I'm gonna put on my social media handles over here. This is Orca Torch, right? Uh, so this is my social media handles over here. Okay, here we have it. So these are my social media handles. It's Wufang Digital. And uh, you wanna follow us with uh, YouTube, through Facebook, please, you're welcome to our uh, website, wufangdigital.com. Now, this Facebook Live is on behalf of Orca Torch. So this is Orca Torch social media handles. And we have, um, we have the social media handles right here. Okay, so Orca Torch on Facebook, on Instagram, on the website, and anything related to sales and warranty or product inquiry, you can reach them at service at orcatorch.com. Okay guys, now I'm just going to pop over for a while to see whether our, we have anybody on the chat list. And okay, there's nothing, okay, no problems. So we will go on to the next item here. Okay, uh, now for the dive beacon, right, uh, it comes in five colors. So we want to know, uh, for the mini glow tank dive beacon, we want to know which is your favorite color. Maybe you can type it out in the comments, let us know your favorite color. And why do you think that color is your favorite? Is it because it's cute or is it because you think it's easier to spot you in the ocean? Yeah, so let us know what is your favorite color for the, as the, for the glow tank, right? Yeah, so I'll, the next item on our list, I'll introduce you to the torch, but I'll just give you a few seconds. Uh, maybe we hang on for a bit for more people to join us, to come in. Because right now, we are going to show you uh, two torches later. Uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about our giveaway. Okay, let's, let's just get back in uh, to our giveaway. We have, the, we have the SD01 Mini Glow Tank. And it comes in five colors. You've got your blue, white, green, red, and orange. Okay, it runs on just one AAA batteries. AAA batteries are, you know, they're really accessible. You can get them anywhere. And uh, even at your dive center in the island, I'm sure they have AAA batteries. But no fear because they run on, they run up to 108 hours, which means it's about four days non-stop operation. So that's lots of dives for you, right? Okay, uh, let's repeat on how to win. Maybe, uh, because these are new rules, 
Orca Torch has set new rules, so let's go through them again to find out how we're going to win, how you can enter to win the lucky draw. Firstly, watch the live stream all the way to the end. Uh, during the lucky draw, sorry, just before the lucky draw, I'm going to ask you, for those of you who are still remaining behind, right, I wanna, I'm going to ask you to enter one onto the comments. And when you do that, we're going to collect you and narrow you down into the list to be entered as the uh, to decide who is going to be the lucky draw winner. Okay, so we want you to like, comment, share, ask questions. All right, um, the winner is you will watch as the winner is being announced because we'll we'll do it right here in this live. Okay, um, any questions? Let's see if there are any questions or any comments before we move along. Okay, fine. Now, let's go on to the first item on our list, which is the D700 Dive Torch. Now, the D700 is a dive torch. Both torches that we're going to introduce to you tonight, they are dive torches, right? So, the first one is the D700. It has a 6 degree beam angle, so it's a very narrow beam angle and uh, you know, to pierce through the darkness, very narrow beam and very high lumens for a dive torch is 1700 lumens. Uh, for those of us who are not familiar with lumens, lumens is, well to put it in basic terms, it's a measure of how bright a light is. So 1700 lumens for a dive torch is quite bright, right? And uh, it's quite bright, okay. Now, this next item here is one of my favorite features for Orca torches. Torches. Uh, this one is a, you have a USB rechargeable battery. What this means is, the battery itself is a charger, which means you don't have to bring another charger along. You plug the USB cable onto the battery and you charge the battery that way. Okay, uh, next. Uh, you'll want to know how long the dive torch can operate. So it is 1 hour and 50 minutes with a 21700 lithium ion, 5000 milliamp hour battery. Okay, that is USB rechargeable, I repeat that. Alright, um, and this dive torch is rotary switch. So which means you turn it to switch it on. You turn the torch head to switch it on. Okay, um, because any questions, if not, uh, we'll go on to have a look at the torch. I'm going to show you this torch um, close up and well, we want to make it interactive. So if there's any comments, uh, do let us know so that we can, you know, inspect the torch for you to see. Okay, so we're going to go over to our product uh, close up so that you can see how the D700 looks like. Hang on, I've got some comments over here. Okay, so I'm going to show you the D700 shortly, but i just like to check something out uh, because we're going to head over to the product demo part. Okay, just give me a short while. I'll bring up the D700. So guys, this is the D700. This is how it looks like. It's not a very big torch. So this is, this means that it's got a very small footprint. Okay, so my hand is a little bit small. So the, the torch itself is not very big, which is great because it's easy to stow away on your vest or wherever you keep your torch during your dive. Okay, so this is a D700 and it comes with Let's check this out. It comes with a lanyard over here. And then it comes with a USB cable. Yeah, it comes with a USB cable and some spare O-rings. So this is what comes in a package. And um, let's see, yeah, this is what comes in a package. All right, so you've got a D700 itself, 1700 lumens spare o-rings 
and you've got a lanyard and a USB cable for charging up the battery. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to show you how the torch actually looks like. So uh, you can see there is a there is one single LED in there. I don't know how they get this to be so darn powerful, right? It's just one bulb, one, one LED, so, right? So you turn it to switch it on. You turn it to switch it on. So this is how it looks like. You see that? Very, very bright. I'm just going to pull it off camera. It's a very narrow beam. Um, next, I, I want to show you that uh, I, can use, I, I, can, I can use one hand, you know, to operate it. Yeah, like uh, what one of our brand ambassadors says, the, the operation is much smoother than the, other, than the other torches. Yeah, I can easily turn it with one hand, right? Okay. Okay, if there's anything you'd like to see, uh, list them down in the comments. Right now, I'm going to show you the insides and let's check out the magic. So I'm going to open this up. Okay, so it looks like there is a, looks like a triple O ring protection here. This is how the D700 looks like when you open it up. And we have here, this is a quite a large battery here. Yeah? Okay, this is not your regular 18650 battery. This is a 21700 5000 milliamp hour battery. And then the magic happens when you charge it. So um, you're not going to get a charger with your dive torch. You will be getting a USB C cable and you charge it with your power bank. You can put it on your laptop to charge it. So that's how you charge your battery. I have here a power bank. So this is a power bank. So I'm gonna let's let's see how this works, right? When I charge it up. I haven't actually charged this yet. There you go. So I'm charging this right now. You can see that the LED is red, so it means it's charging. LED is red. That means it's charging, right? Yeah, so there's no charger. You can charge this basically, well, kind of everywhere. You know, you, you have your laptop, your power bank, so you, it's very easily charged. Yeah, and it doesn't come with extra baggage that you need to carry around. So that's the D700, folks. Any comments? <clears throat> what do you think? What do you think about the D700? Um, do you have any comments after what you've seen? I thought that was a pretty cool torch. Uh, uh, it's, it's small and, uh, well, it's smaller than the rest, right? And r really strong beam. What do you think? Any thoughts? Put them in the comments. Um, okay, uh, let's see if there is uh, any comments there. I'm going to check if uh, there are any comments coming from our live. All right. Um, now, I'm sure you want to know how this torch performs when it comes to the ocean. Okay, so what I'm going to show you next is going to be pr pretty exciting. Okay, what we have next, right, is what I like to call user feature. Now, in our user feature, uh, in, in upcoming episodes, from now onwards, I like to have a user feature. This user feature, right, um, I, to today's user feature, we will have Mark Pilzer with us, and we will have Daniel with us, right? Uh, Mark Pilzer is a dive instructor from Portugal and Daniel is a dive master from Germany. So we're all international buddies over here, right? Okay, um, 
what you're seeing on, on your screen right now, the pictures are taken by Mark Pilzer and uh, he's showing you some of the, how he's using the torch. This is his, um, this is his testimonial and uh, Mark is actually having some problems with uh, fishes, yeah, the trigger fish. The trigger fish, um, he's having tr uh, <laughs> some trouble with trigger fish, you know. Yeah, if you can see, right, uh, later he'll be bordered with trigger fish that is, that is swimming towards him and causing a lot of trouble. He says it's biting him. Okay, yeah, so uh, I think you can see it even better later when we have a look at, uh, at the videos. Mark, also, Mark has also prepared some videos for us, so we can have a look at that. So let's see whether we can spot the trigger fish over here. Okay, so right now we are looking at the videos. Mark has prepared a video for us. Thanks for that, Mark. Thanks for letting us use your video. Now this shipwreck seems very familiar. You know, it's uh, I think I've seen this in some of his previous videos. Mark, if you're here, uh, do drop a comment and tell us about this shipwreck. Uh, because I thought this wreck is uh, quite quite fun to, to explore because later as we go in right we're gonna see some very interesting locations so dive instructor from Portugal flashlight enthusiast for many years he says yeah, so Mark is someone to talk to when you are talking shop about flashlights torchlights I guess this is the engine room Right, Mark? What do you think? Is this the engine room? Sure looks like... I mean, I've not really been that deep into a ship before, but this looks like the engine room. And, uh, yeah, you see, the, the, it's a very strong beam of light, yeah, that is produced by the torch. Very strong beam of light. I mean, it's not that dark outside. It's still quite bright, you know. And even though it is bright, the torch still managed to outshine the brightness okay now um, you can see narrow beam straight into the darkness right yeah mark if you're in here i don't know whether you are watching us tonight but if oh look at that crew quarters is this the crew quarters mark if you're with us right let us know in the comments uh what adventure of this uh, what adventures you're having here in brief maybe just tell us you know where is this shipwreck and uh this shipwreck looks pretty new. Is, is this a new wreck? So that's... Okay, so that's the D700. Uh, from what you've seen by Mark Pilzer. You know, it's, it's really good to explore all... It's, okay, look at this, look at this. Oh, we didn't miss this. This is great. Check out the trigger fish. Check out the trigger fish. Look, look, look. It wants to eat the dive torch. Oh, goodness, look at that. <laughs> Mark says, no, get away, this is my precious, right, go, 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 yeah, and uh, Mark is telling us that uh, the trigger fishes have been biting, biting his, uh, his customers, <laughs> so, you know, they've been bothering people, I think maybe it's a territorial thing, so they, they're just coming to explore and check out a new pond, yeah, okay, now let's look at the next video, and this comes from Daniel from Germany, Daniel, if you're in here, if you're joining us live, uh, do let us know what this is about because this is something that I don't think I can unsee after <laughs> I've seen it. What sculpture is this, Daniel? Daniel is a dive master and tech, technical side mount diver from Germany. He dives normally in uh, cold water, diving in lakes, and uh, he's got visibility that range from 15 centimeter to 15 meters visibility. That is like crazy. You can't even see your hand in front of you, right? And uh, okay, one very interesting thing to note is Daniel is an Orca Torch fanboy. And this is really good advice. Buy cheap, buy twice. Buy Orca Torch, but Orca Torch offers the quality of, and a good price, right? So it's good advice from Daniel all the way from Germany. Daniel, what in the world is this sculpture? This is giving me 
I don't, I think I'm, I'm not going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> what is this sculpture? Is that the only sculpture there or there are groups of them? I don't know. Um, and look, look, now, that's a very happy man with his torchlight, right? Okay, so look at the conditions he's diving in. It's really, really murky in there. Okay, so let's go on to the next item on our list, which is the D710. Okay, the D710, again, is a 6 degrees beam angle. Alright, so it's very similar to the D700, 6 degree beam angle at 1000 lumens of brightness. So you've got the same brightness, yeah. So in these cases, they are similar. And this is where it differs. Okay, you've got three lighting modes, which means the D710 uh, goes between 1700, 800 and 300 lumens. So there's three different levels. And then uh, again, it's got a USB rechargeable battery. Same battery with the D700. Um, and now this is the biggest difference here. This is a push button switch, which means you press a button to operate the torch. Right? I'm just going to let you think about that. And then the last feature is, right, it has 3,000 lumens at a turbo mode. Did you know there is a turbo mode? I'll let you think about that. Alright guys, I'm just checking whether there are any comments that we missed. Now, so you've got a push button switch at 3,000 lumens at turbo. I'm not sure whether our testers have actually tried that out. So, okay, uh, we're going to check out the D710. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, D710, 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay, so uh, this is how it looks like, the D710. Okay, we're going to compare the size afterwards. Uh, this guy, the D710, is a little bigger. Yeah, and so here is where the similarity ends. It's a push button, so you press, and right away, you get a really, really bright 1,700 lumens. Okay, then you can drop it down by pressing the switch once. This will go to about 800 lumens, 800 lumens, and then I'm going to press it one more time. So this is 300 lumens. Okay, so you've got three different modes. Now, what's interesting to note is there is a turbo mode. So, I'm going to switch this off first and I'm going to turn it on again. So, the turbo mode, how does this work? I tried the turbo mode, um, probably in the water, it will be more distinctive, but on land, right, I don't see much of a difference when I turn on turbo. So, how do you do turbo? You hold down the button and you will go up to 3000 lumens. Do you notice that? They notice, right? Okay, let's do that again. I turn it on to enter turbo mode. I hold it down. And then it should go up to 3000 lumens. I don't know whether... Am I doing the right thing, right? Okay, let's do that again. What if I go to the lower setting and I hold it down? Uh, so this... Oh, okay, okay. So this is how it works. You press. You need to hold the button down then it will become 3,000 lumens and this will last you one minute and then it will go back to 1,700. Okay, so let's go for the lowest, which is, uh, let's go for 300. So first one is 1,007, drop to 800, drop to 300. Now at 300, at any time you feel like, oh, I need a big blast of light. So I'm going to hold it down and this is 3,000 lumens. Right, it will stay 3,000 lumens for a minute before it drops back down to 1,007. At least that's what I'm told. So uh, maybe Mark or Daniel, if uh, they've used it, maybe they could enlighten us <laughs> on this. Okay, so it gets pretty hot. So I'm going to turn this off and let's look at what's inside. Let's look at what's inside. So I'm going to open this up and then we will see that it's got the same battery as the D700. 
So let's not get this mixed up because they do look very similar, right? Yeah. So you've got the D710. I'm just going to take away the charging. And you've got the D700 here. And the battery is interchangeable. It's the same. It's the same battery. Both at 5000 milliamp hour battery. Right? Looks the same. What do you think about that? What do you think about that, guys? Any thoughts on any thoughts on the two torches that we have shown you side by side? We, we're going to do a comparison because maybe you look at it, it's like, oh goodness, they sound the same, they look the same. Um, maybe you want a more Accurate comparison. Okay, I've, I've, I've got a comment over here. Let, let's see. Okay, strangely, this is not coming up on our chat box, but it's okay. Let's see. Presmec. 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 Hello. How are you? Baron, traditionally shine in the eyes. Hi, Presmec. Presmec, if, uh, if you guys are looking at the comments, right? Presmec is a fantastic photographer. Maybe we want to feature him in our next user feature in our next Facebook Live because the photos he's, he takes, right? The photos that Presmic take is fantastic. You, you got to see it with your eyes to believe it. He knows how to light things up and his shipwrecks, plane racks, they're beautiful. Okay, um, let's see, Daniel. Mm, okay, Daniel, Daniel's here. Hi, da Daniel. Hello, um, the boost mode is really great when you want the attention of your... Oh, <laughs> the boost mode is really great when you want the attention of your buddy since you can really light him up. <laughs> okay, good one, Daniel. Ah, Craig is here. Hi, Craig, how are you? Craig Armstrong, how long does the 710 last in turbo mode? Okay, uh, Craig, right? Uh, has anybody replied him? Not yet. Okay, so Craig, I'm told that in turbo mode, it will last for one minute before it will automatically drop to a lower brightness level, which is 1,700 lumens. Yeah. Yeah, Craig. Um, let's see. I remember 10 years ago, low mode usually means... <laughs> Azali, Reza, Faisal, Azlin. Hi. Nice to see you here, buddy. <coughs> This is uh, worth noting, right? I remember 10 years ago, low mode usually means 30 lumens or less. Now low mode is 300 lumens. Wow. Check it. Okay. Uh, so Craig, is, uh, he says he likes the size of the D700. Uh, minor size difference. We'll have a look at it afterwards. Kelly Graham, hi. Azali, can you switch the bodies around? Azali is asking, can you switch the bodies uh, uh, Do we want to do that, switch the bodies around? I think it should be quite safe, right? I mean, they use the same batteries anyway. They use the same batteries. Yeah. Uh, Daniel. Ergonomic fit. Great for big and dry gloves. Yeah, so as you saw earlier, uh, can we have a look at uh, Daniel's uh, video? Let's look at Daniel's video because what's interesting to see here is that he was diving in, I don't know, how cold was that, uh, Daniel? Because he's in a dry suit. He's in a dry suit and he says uh, it fits him very well. Yeah, so you can see that um, Daniel is all bulked up. He's all like, oh, I'm so cute. Yeah. Right? He's in kaiju mode. Yeah, so that was Daniel in his uh, dry suit. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to see all the comments coming here. So uh, I'm just going through them right now. My producer is asking back for the phone. I'm not giving it back to her. Um, Azali, uh, uh, try switch the bodies around. Both lights. Uh. You want to switch the bodies around, yeah? How? <laughs> okay, afterwards when we compare, we switch the bodies around and see what happens. Uh, what's the expected burn time for the LEDs? Andrew is asking. 
expected burn time okay it's down in the specs somewhere um yeah it's down in the specs i will show it to you afterwards the expected burn time and charlene charlene is here hi charlene nice to see you again from the previous live how quickly does turbo turbo mode drain the battery ah so uh i don't know how long but um, it lasts for one hour before it turns down to 1700 lumens from 3000 3000 one minute 1700 lumens okay uh do they fit the soft goodman handle the soft goodman handle andrew is asking do they fit the soft goodman handle Okay, I only know the hard Goodman handle, the, the metal one. I'm not sure about the soft one. Do they have a soft one? Is it the wrist strap? Yeah, so uh, if you're asking about the soft wrist strap, right? It does fit. I've tried it. Yeah, it does fit. And uh, what's the burn time on the different settings? Okay, Casper is asking, Casper Wendelbo is asking about the burn time on the different settings. So let's do a comparison of the torches here. And then you tell me, and Azali is Azali is really waiting for his uh, his uh, swapping bodies here. Make it a Franken torch. So, uh, <clears throat> okay. Firstly, we want to have a look at the comparison first. Let's have a look at the comparison between the two torch uh, on paper. Okay. Now let's go on to this. Okay. So uh, let's see. Uh, you've got. Uh, You've got the prices here. This is taken directly from Orca Torches website. And these torches are available in October according to Orca Torch. Now let's have a look at the comparison. We've got a light beam of 6 degrees. So it's the same for both torches. Okay, Charlene, I, I'm not sure whether you're asking about this because uh, both have a minor differences in terms of uh, or you call it burn time or run time or operational time so okay it's like a 10 minutes difference between the two yeah now the d710 has uh, three modes plus turbo at 3000 lumens so we, we get it that ready and then the next comparison the difference is the d700 has a rotary head d710 has a push button okay uh, so uh, so uh, now the, the thing about the runtime, uh, I think Oracle Torch got to help me out here because I cannot remember how long is what mode. <laughs> okay, so it's on the website though, so um, I think uh, Oracle Torch will be answering that question. Uh, right now, I want to show you. Azali is asking. Okay, so I need to, I need to show him. Okay, now, <clears throat> what's that? Okay, we're going to show you, yeah, Azali, we're going to show you the, the differences between the, the two torches and whether we can swap bodies. Uh, okay, so we answer Azali's question first because uh, he's been like, you know, let me have it. Okay, so here we go. Azali, what do you think? If I mix them out, can you t tell, tell, tell the difference? Can you... <laughs> Which one is which? <laughs> okay, okay, let's shoot. Which one is which? Okay, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't swap it around. So let's try swapping it around. Okay, so Ken wo Ken lah, Azali, boleh tukar badan. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try this out. Okay, so this is still under warranty. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this on. Uh, there it works, works fine. So yeah, you can switch body, you can switch batteries. So I guess that makes it even more like, uh, hey, which one am I going to get? You know, I, I guess the question will probably pop up la, when, when you see like both of them are, <clears throat> are so similar to each other, you know, and the name is like 10, uh, a digit 10 away. Okay, so you've got your, uh, sorry, this is switch on, so I'm going to switch it off. Too, too tough. Okay, switch it off. Oh, it's the oil. Slippery. Okay, so you've got the two here. So by now, you should be able to tell which one is the D710, right? The D710 is the larger guy. It's the larger guy with the push button. So this guy is the D710. This guy is the D700. So there you go. And uh, just 
so it doesn't. Okay, so you have the two torches side by side. You notice a slight, uh, slight difference in length. Yeah, not not so much. And when you look at the diameter, looks the same. Right, and of course you do know that. Uh, the lumens are the same, 1,700, uh, keep the power bank aside, 1,700. So anyway, these bodies have been swapped here, yeah, Azali. The bodies have been swapped, the batteries have been swapped, so they are interchangeable. Okay, so this is how they look like. Um, I think uh, we need to refer to Mark's and Daniel's uh, photos and videos for the actual usage underwater, but otherwise on land, you probably won't be able to see that much of a difference. Okay, because these guys are 1,700 lumens, and with the exception of the D710 being able to switch between the three modes. Okay, I'm switching to 800 lumens, down to 300 lumens, and I'm gonna hold down, I'm gonna hold down the button, to switch it up to 3,000 lumens and holding it down, still holding it down. Now I'm going to release and then it switches back to my last setting which is 300. Now let's try it this way. Let's try if I were to switch it off, I'm going to go for 800, right? 800 lumens, 800 lumens. I'm going to see whether it remembers my settings. Hold it down. So this is supposed to be 300 lumens Sorry, this is supposed to be 3,000 lumens. So does it remember my 800 lumen setting when I let go of the switch? Yeah, it does. Okay, because now it's 300 and finally it's off. Now these guys are getting pretty heated up. So I'm just going to turn it off and leave you with this. <coughs> What do you think? Any questions you want to ask? Between the two torches? <coughs> How? You've got uh, two torches here, you have the comparison. Uh, you've got pictures that you viewed, uh, which is from Mark and Daniel. Daniel, what is that statue, that sculpture all about, man? <laughs> is it from Atlantis or...? You know, where, where, what's the history of that sculpture? Oh, <laughs> is it an alien or is it from ancient civilization or someone just built it recently? <laughs> okay, uh, my money is on a D710, says Andrew Smith. Okay, I naturally like push button switches because I don't have to like spend time rotating it. So that's just me, right? I know a lot of technical divers. Technical divers, why do you prefer ro rotation why, why do you like why do technical divers like to have the rotate rotary switch why, why do you like that maybe you can let me know in the comments down there uh, no stroke Andrew Andrew Smith there is no stroke yeah so um, 710 has three lighting modes plus one turbo uh, <laughs> Zali, thanks, he can sleep soundly tonight. Okay, <laughs> good to know that uh, we have given you peace of mind. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Frank, Frank LeMay is here. Frank, from Netherlands, right? So really international community here. Hi Frank, how are you doing? Uh, Frank also dives in a wetsuit because over there it's always uh, cold. And over here, it's always warm, guys. <laughs> it's good and bad, you know, because over here, like, it's always hot. To us, it's hot. You know, oh, you'll be sweating in your wetsuit. And over there, they are, like, in dry suits. So, really different parts of the world. Okay, Frank Lame, I've been using the D700 on two consecutive dives. Oh, Frank, I should have gotten some pictures from you. Frank Lamey, I've been using the D700 on two consecutive dives mostly and no problem to have it burning for 120 plus minutes. Okay, great. Great, okay. So, uh, Frank Lamey has actually used it 120 plus minutes. Uh, that is like 
more than two hours, right, Frank? And that is without switching it off. And it's got no problems with it. There are no interruptions, just no issues. However, for if any one of you out there is a new diver and maybe if this replay is uh, played back somewhere else and if you're a new diver, these are dive torches. They are meant to be used underwater where the heat, the heat is conducted quicker underwater. We do not use dive torches on land because they get really hot really fast, right? And I'm talking about like really hot. So we're using this underwater. Dive torches are meant to be used underwater. Right guys, like and thumbs up and all that stuff. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> so I guess uh, Craig Armstrong's uh, question is already answered. Does the D700 have different light mode setting as well? If uh, it's not answered, Craig, your question, uh, does the D700 have different light mode settings as well? No, the D700 only has one light mode, which is 1700 lumens, and that's it. Yeah, so I think that's one of the biggest difference. Rotary head being one of them. Yeah, and uh, 1700 lumens, one setting only. You okay? Ah, Frank Lame, sorry, no pictures. And now Baron will show us the D7. <laughs> Presme is asking me to show us the D710 from the drone. <laughs> it's a very good one. I might just put it on my drone and fly around, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, what do we have next? If there are no comments here, then... Uh... Okay, so Frank Lame has another um, enlightenment for us. He says... Uh, both in wet suit as well as dry suit diving here. Oh, okay, okay, good, good to know. Yeah, Frank, how many, Frank, Frank Lame, how many millimeters do you wear for your dry suit? Yeah, no, sorry, your wet suit. Frank Lame, your wet suit, how many millimeters do you, do you wear over, over in the Netherlands? Yeah, okay, so while we wait for him to answer, uh, what do we have next? Okay, Q&A session now. Okay, so now is a Q&A session. Um, Q&A session, so if there's any question, right? When do we comment with one? Okay, that is Andrew Smith's question. When do we comment with one? Okay, soon, soon. After this, after the Q&A session, that will be the lucky draw. Okay, so... Soon, really soon. I want to see if there's any Q&A session, uh, anything that maybe just came to your mind that you'd like to ask. Uh, ask it out and then we will move on. If nothing else, dum, dum, dum. just going through the comments here. Yeah, How is diving in the other parts of the world? Um, are you all, are, is everybody in full gear now? You're like, oh yeah, let's dive, dive, dive. How, how the, has the reef recovered after a few months of uh, no diving? Does it look healthier? Yeah, let us know. Okay, so uh, I haven't received a question. Seven millimeters. Andrew Smith says he does a dive. He, he dives seven millimeters semi-dry in South Australia. Okay. I used three millimeters and I thought that was pretty hot already. Shalin, <laughs> uh, Shalin uh, says this summer I had a five millimeter Farmer John under my seven millimeter full length. It was still freeze. Oh, okay, Shalin, I I I forgot where 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 were you? Where are you from? Where do you dive? I mean, it's like so freezing cold, right? Frank Lame says a uh, wetsuit is. Two times seven millimeters. Oh goodness! <laughs> wow. So this is great. You know, Orca Torch is building a community, right? And we're all comparing notes over here. For us, uh, over here, there's no such thing as a dry suit, as far as I know, because <laughs> it's so darn hot here. Okay. So <clears throat> Ontario. Wow. Charlene's from Ontario, Canada. She's uh, Charlene is. Uh, from Ontario, Canada, and she's the one that said um, this summer. Oh, she said summer. 
not winter. This summer, I had a 5mm Farmer John under my 7mm full length. It was still freezing. Oh, goodness gracious. And that is in summer. Okay, uh, so if uh, nothing, nothing urgent, let's go on to our give, our lucky draw. Okay, now, we're in the lucky draw segment now of our live stream. Lucky draw, lucky draw. Okay, so <clears throat> let me just explain. There will be five random winners decided by the spin wheel. And each winner gets a glow tank dive beacon. Okay, now the winner's name will appear on the banner and the spinner. Okay, before I continue, Orca Torch, you're out there. Give us the names soon, yeah? I'd like you, uh, our viewers, I'd like you to enter one onto the comments to know that you want to be eligible for the lucky draw. Andrew Smith, put in one now. Everyone else, give us a one. Give us a one or give us a like. Lah. Like and a one. Lah. Yeah, okay, give us the like and the one uh, so that we know that we can enter you into the lucky draw and you will be getting the dive beacon. So your name will appear on the banner and the spinner. Now, uh, the spin wheel, your name it's going to be like really small because we're putting in a whole bunch of names and uh, if you don't see it on the spin wheel it's hard to read it will always, it will appear on a big banner down there where you see the winner is okay so orca torch for those of you who want something you will know how this works orca torch will contact the winners and they will want to know where your address so that they can send it to you okay so, how are we doing? We're waiting for Orca Torch to reply with the names. Orca Torch, give us the names so that we can enter them into the spin wheel. <coughs> okay, still waiting. We're still waiting. Does anybody want to see anything about the torches? Does anybody want to see any of the torches right now? If you do, Drop me a comment and we'll go and explore the torches again. Or does anybody want to see your future lucky draw gift? I have the glow tank here. Yeah, it's here. Does anybody, huh? Somebody wants to see. No? Anybody wants to see the glow tank? I can show it to you right now. Open it up, show you the battery, show you how it flashes. Does anyone want to see that? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll show you the giveaway. Uh, so you've got five colors. Okay, you've got blue, white, green, red. Oh, there's a comment here. Tunggu kejap, yeah? That means, hang on for a bit. Um, Ivan Fong. Hello, Ivan. Ivan's from Malaysia, same as us. Diving with three millimeter wetsuit. His is bright yellow it attracts turtles yeah i want to see see what ivan what you want to see um you want to see the dive beacon right okay okay ken matt hunt yes matt hunt says yes lol yes show please show what they want to show the dive beacon right okay okay so let's see the dive beacon we we will show the dive beacon hold on uh. let me disappear from screen Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So, so you have the torches there, and then you will have the dive beacon here. Okay, hang on. I will show you the dive beacon right now. It's going to appear on screen. Ah, okay. So you've got the D710, D700, which is a little bit smaller but same diameter, just a little bit longer in terms of the yeah in terms of length and this is our giveaway okay so what i'm going to do is uh move the torches aside first because uh, they've had their limelight dive beacon guys uh i'm gonna take it out i'm gonna take the battery out 
Ah, there you go. Battery. This is normal, regular, triple A battery. Okay, nothing special. But easily accessible. So, yes, yummy. Okay, I'm going to put it back in. Oh, got O rings here. Yeah? Double O ring protection. Nice. Very nice. Put it back in. Okay, so you just got to twist it. Lah. You twist it, then it, uh, it turns on. So, very easily turn on with one hand. So, this is how your dive beacon looks like. Uh, so, you, you've got a nice lanyard that comes with it. You can tighten it up against your, your tank or your BC. Okay. Pretty darn cool. This is yellow, I think. I think it's yellow. What do you guys think? Is it orange or yellow? Yellow, yellow, Ivan wetsuit color. Yeah? Glow tank. Okay, while we're messing around, uh, the list has just come in. So, we can still mess around further because uh, we're preparing the list right now. So, five colors. Uh, so, uh, you make sure you tell Orca Torch which color you want. Like that. Uh, this guy likes to roll. Okay, since it likes to roll there, let's just... Okay, what... Uh, let me see your comments, if there is anything that you have asked, so that I don't miss anything. Looks yellow to me, right? You go here. So, what do you think? Um, you have uh, three items on my my uh, station right now. So, you can see that the, you can see the size comparison between the three items. Yeah, uh, the dive beacon. The last time we had the dive beacon was, I think, in just two lives ago. I think uh, it's. Was it, it's not positively buoyant, yeah? the, as in it doesn't float up. It doesn't flo float up. Whoever has a dive beacon here, or if you'd like to know, you want to confirm this, uh, please let us know because uh, as far as I know, the last time we had this, it does not float up. So it's not positively buoyant. Constantin Gazi, you, you've seen the blue one, is it? I've not seen the blue, I've not seen the blue one in real life. Constantin is a very strong supporter of Orca Torch. Yeah, so uh, I don't know whether you actually saw the blue one because the yellow one is the only one I saw in real life. I'm supposed to get all five, but uh, it's not arrived yet. Um, maybe on the next live, we could see all five. The body, the body of the beacon is made of metal. Okay, Ivan Fong has asked, is the body of the beacon made of metal? It's definitely not plastic. Lah. But whether metal or not, Orca Torch needs to answer this. Because it's definitely not plastic. When I ting, 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 yeah, it's ting, ting. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't know whether <laughs> it's metal. It feels like it though. Yeah. Aluminium maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Press make. <laughs> and the battery is low in yellow. <laughs> so yeah, Pressmic just uh Pressmic just answered, just commented something. Now if you guys want to see great looking photos, right, go follow his uh, Instagram and his Facebook. He's got really beautiful photos. Lately, he's been exploring wrecks, and uh, it's really nice to watch. Yeah. So anything, anything you want to see, because uh, the list is still coming in, and 
somebody has just entered a one, <laughs> so last minute. So we're updating the list. Turn off, no need, press make. Four days. It can last four days. <laughs> no, no turn off. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's a uh, it's quite light. Uh. The I don't know whether it's, is it aluminium, but it is very light and um, it's not something that is fragile. You know, it's 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 quite. It looks pretty robust. It's it's something that you know if it bangs again against your if it if it hits against your tank, it's not going to get spoiled. Uh. That's that's the feeling that I get when I when I when I handle the dive beacon. Uh, okay, uh, can, I'm, I'm just going to uh, remove myself from the picture for a while, arrange the, the thingy for you to see clearly. Just going to go over here and you know, make sure that things look good for everyone to see. There is a power bank over here so that you can compare the sizes. Not that you need to compare with the power bank, but anyway, it's here. Okay, so you've got your three items here. If there's any questions you want to know, uh, do sound off in the comments. Oh, this is a good, this is a good question. What is the depth rating for the beacon? Orca Torch, you're around or not? Orca Torch, what is the depth rating for the beacon? I don't know that. Okay, I'm going to appear back into the stream. I am going to appear back into the stream because I've got some news for you guys. And I'm in the stream right now. Okay, entering one ends now, yeah? In three, two, one. Okay, in three, two, one, entering one ends. Because we're closing the we're closing the lucky draw list. In three, two, one. Okay, so <laughs> no more entering one. <laughs> okay, that's that's not me, alright? That is uh, that came all the way up from uh, Orca Torch. Press Mac, why you want me to sing? Come on. He wants me to sing. Obviously, you haven't heard me sing because if you have heard me sing, sung, it will sink. Shipwreck. <laughs> no. <laughs> he wants me to sing. Okay, so Craig Armstrong, Orca Torch has answered your question. Underwater. 150 meters. Yay. Yay. 150 meters. Same as most of their torches. Okay. Uh, I have just got news. Should I tell them? I tell them? Okay, so the update was, we're ready to spin the wheel. <laughs> so we're ready to spin the wheel. And no, I'm not singing. Thank you very much. Uh, what is this, Constantin Ghazi? I, I don't understand uh, your question here. Maybe, uh, what? Okay, so we're ready to spin. Is that it? Okay, can we have the spin wheel back up into the... Okay, so as you can see over here, spin wheel. So my producer says the wheel is ready. So that means uh, in 3, 2, 1. Uh, right? In 3, 2... Okay, this will be for the first winner. Right, the first winner. We have five winners. Okay, in three, two. 
Now, just to confirm, uh, I will not be singing for the next life. Okay? Because if I sing for the next life, that will be the last life Orca Torch will let me do. <laughs> okay, are we ready for the spin? Are we all ready? Uh? Ready, right? Okay. In three, two, one, spin it. Okay, who is the winner gonna be? Who is the winner gonna be? Who is the winner gonna be? Winner gonna be? Who? Who? Let's see, let's see, let's see. On the banner down there, yeah, because the spin wheel is too small. Is it ever gonna stop spinning or not? Stop. Daniel diving! Woo! Daniel has won a dive beacon. Daniel, you've won the dive beacon. Yay! Daniel won, Daniel won. Okay, so Daniel, you are the first winner for tonight for the dive beacon. Okay, uh, hang on. Do we have some more updates? Okay, so we're going to... So Daniel, congratulations, right? And uh, we're going to update the list. So we're gonna, what we do is we remove Daniel's name from the list so that the list gets smaller, so that more of you, you stand a better chance of winning. Good idea, right? Okay. So, so bear with me. What song you like to hear? No. No. You, you want to see me for the next life, you want to ask me to sing a song. Okay. I sing, we sink. Okay. So, uh, ready? Uh? Oh, we're ready for the next uh, spin wheel. So, we're just going to go over <coughs> to initiate the spinning. In three, two, one, spin it. Okay, let's see. Okay, who do you think is going to win? Hey, this is random, yeah? This is not picked by us. Okay? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Who is going to win the next? Oh, 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 oh. Who's that? Matt Hunt! Matt Hunt, you have won a dive beacon. Congratulations, Matt Hunt. Matt Hunt, where are you from, Matt Hunt? Let us know in the comments because you just won, so you owe us a comment. Where are you from? Let me see whether he replied or not. <laughs> yeah. uh, Char Charlene says that's the third time the wheel has stopped right next to me. <laughs> she says, Charlene says that's the third time the wheel has stopped next to her. She's actually looking at the... How do you manage to see that little name? This is like so small. It's like... How do you see that? Okay. So, uh, okay, Matt Hunt is from the US of A. He's from Battle Creek, Michigan. 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 Right, congratulations, Matt Hunt. And uh, we're going to do the... Next. How many winners? Two, right? Two winners, so there's three more. Three more winners. So we're going to spin for the third winner now. This is so exciting, right? Okay. <laughs> we're going to spin for winner number three. Okay, hang on. We're removing Matt Hunt's name so that uh, more people can be entered. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? In three, two, one, spin it. Wheel is spinning, wheel is spinning. Tuck, 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 tuck. It's spinning, 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 spinning. Who will it be? Who will it be? Who do you want it to be? Andrew Smith! Andrew is from Western Australia, correct? Yeah? 
So Andrew Smith, you have won a dive beaker. Congratulations! Okay, good job. So um, for those who have won, Orca Torch will be contacting you. Uh, so you stand by with your favorite color, so that uh, you know you can you can show off. I want to show you something. Uh, can we go on to the? Can we go on to the? the product camera. Okay, I want to show you guys something, right? While my producer is busy, I want to show you. I want to show you. I got this lah. Hey guys, I got this lah. Azali, tengok ni Azali. Wow, gaya betul. Wow, check it, check it, check it out. Okay, so, uh, this is a dry bag. Dry bag. Okay, I'm gonna switch the camera back to me. Switch the camera back to me. Yeah, cause they they're not gonna go away. You know, they're gonna stay. <laughs> cause we got how many more winners we have to announce? Two more. Okay, they're gonna stay. <laughs> so, yeah, <clears throat> they're gonna stay because uh, they wanna see who's the next two winners, right? So I wanna show you this. This is uh, the Orca Torch. Dry bag, oh check it out. You see this right? Nobody is gonna miss you, you know. But this may go missing lah. <laughs> right? This is uh I don't know whether you know about this, but Orca Torch has a dry bag. Okay. Uh this is six liters. Can you see that? Oh okay. Alright, here. Hey, focus lah. Ah, okay. Where the heck is my hand going? Ah, it's six liters. So you can put a heck of a lot of things in here, right? And it's very tough. It's very tough. Okay, it comes with your sling. So you can sling it onto, I mean, you can shoulder sling it around. Okay, so I want to show you that they actually have this. So if you want some Orca Torch, <laughs> if you want some Orca Torch swag, they got lah. Right, Orca Torch branded uh, dry bag. So if you if you want this, yeah, I saw it on their website and I was like, can I? I want that. I want that. How much is it? Right. So check it out. Oh, it's five liters. Sorry, five liters. That's like uh, four mineral water bottles, the big one, right? It's about there. So this is the dry bag. Are we ready for the next spin? Okay. So this dry bag, everyone, and uh, I'm gonna chuck this. I'm gonna just let this rest for a bit. Okay, we're gonna go for the next spin, right? Good. This is the fourth winner, is it? Okay. So fourth winner, you're hiding in there, and we're gonna bring you out. Are you ready, fourth winner? In three, two, one, and spin it. Whoosh. Okay, let's see. The winner is, and the winner is, who's the winner? Who's that? Konstantin Gazi! Oh, this guy, yeah. He's, he's a very strong supporter. I uh, always uh, giving us comments and, uh, you know, giving us opinions. Very good. Konstantin, congratulations. Congratulations, Constantine, for winning the dive beacon. Who wants the dry bag to be part of the giveaway? Who wants that? Okay, type it in the comments. Let Orca Torch know you think that the dry bag is a good giveaway gift. Or maybe you prefer a torch, lah. Okay, <laughs> so let us know. Now let's go through the comments here. Yeah? <laughs> Frank Lamy, now I have your luck, Charlene, next to my slide. <laughs> no South Australia, but thanks to the team. What does this mean? Read slides. There. Okay, okay. Wait, uh, let me read the comments. Oh, Azali, Fuyo, Padu. Orange, my favorite new color. Orange, Ivan Fung. Actually, can we go here? Swag back. Swag back, Sylvester. Swag back. Swag back. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, my producer says to speed this along, so I better not. 
keep her waiting. So, uh, is this the final winner? <sighs> okay, guys, the final winner, you're in there somewhere. Wait, got some updates. Hang on. Uh. What's the update? Nothing? Yeah. So, we're ready to bring you out, final winner, for tonight's Facebook Live. Are you ready? The names are all set. So, we're going to spin. We're going to spin the wheel in three. This is the last winner for tonight, okay, until the next live. So, okay, three, two, one, and spin it. What do we get? Spin right here. Okay, it's spinning. Now, let's see who is, I'm very excited about this. I want to see who is the final winner for tonight. Who's the final winner? Who's the final winner? Yes, yes, yes. Who's it? Press me! <laughs> press me! <laughs> press me! Now, press me, you sing us a song. Okay, you post it on Facebook. You put it on Orca Torch website, Presmec. You show us how you sing. Then Orca Torch will send you the dive beacon. Everyone agree, right? Presmec will sing us a song. 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds, all right? And Orca Torch will send you the dive beacon. Congratulations, Presmec, for winning the dive beacon. So, we have all five winners here. Thank you for participating and thank you for watching our live stream. Uh, okay, so um, my name is Baron and we want to wish you great dives. Wait, uh, I want to show you Orca Torches. This, this is my social media handles. Now we're going to show you Orca Torch social media handles. Yeah, yeah. These are Orca Torch social media handles and anything, uh, hit them up. Uh, last one is the service for warranty, product inquiry. You can check that out. All right, so it's Baron here, and we're wishing you great dives and stay safe.